Apocalypse. Okay, guys, here's something very, very cool. You probably, you probably, you know, you probably already know this, but let's do something. So, f there's two things in this one as well. Like, the first thing is when to use the Lex Ultimate. A lot of you don't know when to use it. I'm just going to show it to you. I'm going to shoot the head on Androxus here, or Androxus. There we go. As you see, can you see there on the, on this life? There's like a wide little bar around the life. As soon as it gets there, is where I have my aim right now. You know that it stops. That means that after that below, it's automatically a free kill. So let's go here, and then something else happens. So you can notice this. You shoot in. There you go. You see now that symbol changed. It has a big wide symbol on top. Now it's gonna disappear. There you go. Not white, it's gold. So it disappears as soon as you know that you cannot use it. So I'm gonna use an ultimate. Okay, he's gonna get ready. One, two, three, go! You just absorb it, and he sent it back. But here's the thing, it didn't kill me. And you guys are like, why not? It's an automatic kill. Well, basically, as he had a very low life, that's the, the damage that I was gonna take. So that's the damage that he'd send it back to me. Um, in case you have to use this, you do know that you can actually shoot during it, right guys? Because I, I just found out that like a while ago. So I'm gonna show you right here an example. So as you can saw here, as you just saw here, you can actually go and use your dash and shoot at the same time. So that's a good little extra feature. Just go like this. And shoot on the sides, you know, just there you go. And I almost now Androxus here completely forgot that I'm I have damage reduction and CC immunity where our and he just killed us. <laughs> okay, guys, here's another thing you probably didn't know. Uh, as you can see here, KJ is using Pip, and he just bought Resilience to the maximum. Resilience 3, basically. Don't ask me why I got Rejuvenate, I'm, that was a mistake. So, uh, a little something that a lot of people don't know, you cannot push people out of the map with Resilience on the maximum. And here's a little, a little example. So I'm gonna use Shoulder Bash first, and then I'm gonna use this. So as you can see here, it was the least possible because you only have like 10% that it doesn't, you know, doesn't stop. And we're gonna try this again. As you can see here, there is no lifting. So it's considered crowd control. For those who didn't know, you cannot push people out of the map who are using resilience to the maximum. You can try, but it's gonna be really hard. I mean, it'll have to be like a mistake. And even so, as you can see here, I don't think they're normal. The normal shots from Ash Push? No, they didn't. So yeah, you're gonna have to be really close to the map to actually put somebody out of the map. So guys, here's another thing you probably didn't know. Uh, did you know you can actually do this? Yeah, you can push for none though with a shoulder bash, but you cannot use it like this. Yeah, you know, it's, it's bad, but if you know that he's pulling his shield up, just use a shoulder bash. You know, pull him out of the map and you still do 800 damage to him. Look at his life. You see there? His life was damaged instead of the shield. So this damage the shield and this damage him. See that? Awesome. And as I said before, you can actually push Fernando with a shoulder bash, but did you know there's a, actually a way to counter that? So he's gonna, he's gonna do it and so am I. So here I am, I'm gonna do it one, two, Three, let's go. Okay, maybe you missed a little bit, <laughs> but you guys saw that he's still there. It didn't went flying that way. And we're gonna do it again. One, two, three, here I go, go. As you see there, he went on the opposite side. He didn't went like flying. And now what he's gonna do is he hasn't got any items. He's gonna get resilience so we can show you, you know, let me just show you, let me show you guys how far I can push people with this. Don't use the shield, don't use the shield. There he goes. Now he's gonna go back to me. Let, let me push you now with the shoulder bash. And there we go. It's almost, you know, until the middle of the map. Now he's gonna get resilience really fast. To the maximum. There you go. I was just helping you out, man. 
Okay, so Fernando has now the, the resilience, and now we're gonna do the same thing we did before of pushing people with resilience. So right now we're gonna test it without the shield. So as you can see here, almost nothing. Now again with the shield of ash, almost nothing. And now he's gonna use the shields. And I'm gonna use the shield of ash because this doesn't clearly work as you guys can see here. It only damages the shield because it's, you know, it's a projectile. Now here we go. And it still works, good. Guys, did you know that the shield from Ash actually, you can actually see things like through a blue filter. That's how good the developers of Paladins decided to put it up. Let's let's see it. So it's red, right? And now it's pink. Look at this. Don't move, KJ, don't move. Look at this. Amazing, amazing details. Everything that is red becomes uh, pink and the other colors just become really dark. So we can also see here, like in the sides, it's no longer the same color. It, the only thing that doesn't change is the life and his name, because you know that's obviously doesn't belong here. I'm just gonna see this one more time so we can see the color of Fernando's hair here. Not the hair, you know, it's from the the, the helmet. Let's see it. So it changes to pink as well, purple, kind of purple, pink. Yeah, you can see here, amazing. So guys, here goes another thing you probably didn't know. As you can see here on top, KJ is using Terminus. See that little Y line up there? That means he has his ultimate. So as soon as you see a, a, a Terminus with that little line in the back, that means his ultimate is on. Without he even telling me, I know that it's there. So what it's gonna happen, and I'm gonna show this is gonna be a two per one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna counter his ultimate. So I'm gonna kill him. So KJ, don't do anything. Use it, use it, go. So as you guys just saw that, you can counter Terminus Ultimate with the counter from Zen. And here's another thing that it's gonna be, uh, we already showed you two. So as you can see here, stop moving KJ, stop moving. As you see there on the, its name, there is no white line anymore. So right now he's not immortal, you can kill him Go for it with no problem and just look, you know, when he's trying to kill somebody else and warn your enemies. Be careful because he has his ultimate or not. So he doesn't have his ultimate and when it charges he's going to have that white line. Also you can counter the ultimate with a counter and even the res the resilience, uh, not the resilience, the, um, the counter ability from Androxus is well timed. You can also send it back to him and also the absorption ability from Terminus can absorb is ultimate, you know, a, a terminus against an or a terminus, and which means it's gonna give you all your runes, so you can immediately use them against him, or you know, just use him in, for other strategies. Also, here's just one extra little thing: terminus. Try to absorb this. So as you can saw here, the wear, the wind, the how did that's called? The world cannot be absorbed. Try to absorb again. Because it's, it's, you know, it's completely, it's, it's melee damage. And now he's gonna attack me with his normal attack and I'm gonna absorb it. One, two, three, go. So you can counter that as well. That's how good the counter from Zen is. Okay, basically Zen from a long lane range. And here's another one. Even if he's absorbing it, you can use his ultimate against him. So, yeah, Zen is a good counter for Terminus. Okay, guys, uh, this is probably the last part of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed so far. I just have like two or three things I wanted to show you here with a Nara that you can do very, very cool. One of them is against Torvald here. Uh, the first thing we're going to try it out is he has his ultimate, so I'm going to show you something. We're going to put ourselves here. And if everything goes right, I'm not going to die. <laughs> He's going to put himself there. And he's gonna use his ultimate when I tell him. And in a one, two, three, go! Use it! Okay, so it was not because of the wall. I actually didn't even move because I was using the Earthen Guard. The Earthen Guard does not just um, give you extra healing and, you know, your deployables and etc. and defense. If using a legendary card, if using the legendary card that I'm using that gives you CC immunity with the Earthen Guard, you actually can survive 
you know, Torvald's ultimate. You will not be pushed. You cannot be moved. So we're gonna go here. I'm gonna get Veteran. And we're gonna get Torvald here. Another thing that I wanted you guys to show. Torvald is gonna go down here. So something that we tested before, and he's gonna stop right now, I'm gonna show you. If he tries to use the ability that actually the Zillabit, you know, the, the, the Hepatiles, uh, how do I say it? What's the name of the ability? This one. This ability completely cripples you, okay? So you cannot use anything. So he's gonna use it again as soon as he can. And look at my abilities below. Do it. See my abilities? The only thing I can do is attack. Um, so now he's gonna use it again, but only when I tell him. I'm gonna tell him. One, two, three. Use it. He's trying, trust me. He just cannot use it. Another thing about his ability, then this is cool for every single champion. He's gonna use it as soon as he can. Use it. Come here, come here, closer. And use it. Go. Just put yourself something in the front, it automatically stops. You don't even need resilience to Torval. All you need is an obstacle. And here's a little extra, you know, an idea. So he's gonna go here. Do you have it ready? Okay, I'm gonna put this down right here. Hold up. And use it now. Use it. And just put the wall in front, and there you go. Okay. And that's a good way to go against a Nara. Just <laughs> use the ultimate when you see that she doesn't have that ability again. Uh, one more extra thing. Did you know that you can actually use her wall to get into higher places? Let me show you right here. So, yeah, there we go. And this just bugged because I was below that. So we're gonna destroy it. Oh, for those who don't know how to destroy her wall, you just press the same ability again and you actually take it down. So we're gonna go up here. I'm gonna use the ability here. Of course. <laughs> you can't use it if you're being if you're being uh, use, uh, if you're being crippled. So one, two, three, go. We're up and just jump where you wanna go and destroy it. There we go. And then just use this on Torvald. And boom. Yeah, debilitate. You guys didn't probably notice, but I used my ultimate in on Torvald, and you almost stayed no time whatsoever under uh, the stun. That's why he's using resilience. If you use resilience, her ultimate is completely null. You know, it doesn't do much. That's why I keep telling you guys that resilience is one of the best abilities ever. You know, so we're gonna do a 1v1 here, KJ against. Or Nara here, heal up, man. Put the shield up. Put the shield up. One, two, three, go. And it was too late, so we won. <laughs> I didn't notice that he was gonna do that. Um, by resilience against Torvald is always good. And by veteran for. I mean, I mean, if you have a good healer, by always rejuvenate. That's basically the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much, KJ, for actually helping me doing this video. Um, you guys are awesome. KJ got the kill cam, probably pushed me out of the map. Let's see this. Let's just see this. It's weird as your fingers are not the entire the same color. And he's gonna use his ultimate right here. Yeah, I remember. So he waited up for me to stop having the earth guard and then pull me off the map. That's one extra little thing. For you to know when she's using the earth guard, she has that little shield and she's glowing. Usually when people is, is glowing in gold, it means she has CC immunity, guys. So maybe if you see a Makoa use it or his ultimate, and he's using the legendary card that actually gives you CC immunity while using the ultimate, he's probably in gold. You can actually see that, and nothing can stop him, no stuns, no nothing. And that's basically all for the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. That's the second chapter. So if you want to check out the first chapter, I'm probably going to leave a little... You know, a little template in the end of the video. Go click that. Go see the first video of the things you may not know on Paladins. I hope you guys enjoyed. My name is Creepers here with KJ, and I'll see you guys on my next video.
走。